Today, I'm going to be giving you the quickest ways to achieve the lowest delay in Fortnite. And this kind of goes for any game, Fortnite in particular, though. And yeah, I'll be running you through literally everything in the quickest way possible, generally speaking. This is going to include some window settings, some in-game settings you can do, which can be translated pretty much anywhere, and also some things that are more hardware specific. So let's get straight into this. If it has, drop a like, subscribe, like good stuff. The first thing you want to do is all about your Windows settings. You want to enable ultimate performance mode in your power settings. So this is your power power settings within your window settings just to be clear you're gonna go to edit power plan or alternatively control panel power options you'll find you know power plan there you will have the options to select either high performance or ultimate performance ultimate performance is something you have to kind of unlock it's a little set of code you copy and paste takes 30 seconds into your command prompt or the windows powershell make sure to run them as administrator and then you will unlock this ultimate performance power plan option i've did a whole video on this i'm not going to show specific things in this video like actually show you how to do them it's more about giving you the tips and tricks and you can go out your way and do them yourselves but i will tell you the basic how to the basic steps and yeah this is how you do that the next thing would be disabling background applications some of these are things that you maybe have already done but we'll get into some more advanced stuff that i can guarantee something on this list you have not done so yeah make sure they're all disabled you can go into your window settings privacy background apps or startup apps get rid of all of these you do not need them also there'll be a saying as well here to turn off let apps run in the background turn that off you do not want anything in the background this takes resources lowers your performance increases latency the next thing would be to adjust your gpu settings. just basically optimize your graphics card settings this is usually done in your nvidia control panel or if you're on amd your amd radeon settings you will go to your manage 3d settings tab for nvidia and amd it's a little bit different but you can pretty much mirror the same thing go and optimize them i have a full video on this if you are an nvidia user but briefly the main things you want to change is power management set that to prefer maximum performance performance low latency mode have that on on or ultra most people recommend on for fortnite for the lowest latency but it's dependent on your system so try them both out i know that's very annoying but it's very much worth it texture filtering have that on high performance for amd particularly i don't think you will have some of them so for you actually i think the 3d settings is actually just in like your graphic settings and it's called like it's just advanced graphics the main thing you want to do is enable radeon anti-lag and set your texture quality to performance next would be disabling full screen optimization this only goes for you people who are on Windows 10. For Windows 11, this is placebo. It no longer benefits you. But Windows 10 users, definitely go and do this. You want to find the installation folder for your game. So in our case, Fortnite. I think it's like in your this PC program files. Maybe you go to Fortnite binaries, Win64, and then I think client. And then you will find Fortnite client-win64-shipping.exe. Very important. This is it. Because there'll be one in there called Fortnite Launcher. It is not that one. It's Fortnite client. The exe file just right click it go to properties compatibility and check disable full screen optimizations the next thing to do adjust your windows visual settings no one really does this i made a full video actually i think hopefully by the time this video is out if it is it'll be on screen right here how to optimize windows this will cover this and it will cover actually most of these things but simply put go to your system properties you can right click on your windows icon go to system under the advanced tab you will see performance settings for efficiency just select adjust for best performance and the next thing enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling also known as hags to do this go to windows settings i think display graphic settings and you'll find it in there maybe in your advanced graphic settings actually underneath like an extra little tab and while you're here you can also enable game mode and last for things you can do in windows i almost forgot this one but just generally update your drivers and your windows like update windows if you can i don't know if i mentioned this already but you want to be on windows 11 ideally now we're entering a new arc in game settings i have again plenty of videos on this there for fortnite more particularly but basically for pretty much any game you want to set the display to full screen mode so avoid windowed or borderless windowed mode or windowed actually i think wait windowed and win, i don't know what they're called windowed and windowed full screen or something like that just turn them off they introduce more input lag you don't want them also optimize your general graphics video settings in game i'm talking about your in-game video settings resolution set that to a native resolution so 1920 by 1080 if you're struggling for fps go with like 1600 by 900 i don't really recommend going much more below that or to be honest i guess yeah you could go to 720p but for the most part if you you need to lower that resolution just do it with your 3d resolutions most games will have an equivalent to this 100 percent is best for clarity but if you need to go any lower i wouldn't go any lower than 80 percent frame rate limit match your monitor's refresh rate this is a, the the easiest course of action 
So 144 uh, hertz, go with 144 FPS. For me, I'm 240 hertz, so I'd go with 240 FPS. View distance, don't have this anything over medium. If you have a really low PC, have it on the lowest option. I think that's just near. Shadows, anti-aliasing, textures, effects, post-processing, have these all on low. I also recommend enabling performance mode. So if your game has different rendering modes and if it has an option called performance mode, I think this is probably exclusive to Fortnite actually. Have that on Fortnite mode, or sorry, performance mode is the best to be using. It slightly, slightly reduces graphics quality, but improves FPS incredibly. And then in turn decreases input lag. I also recommend use Nvidia Reflex. For Fortnite, if you're using performance mode, you need to actually, ideally, you don't have to, you don't need to do anything, but ideally your DirectX 11 settings actually impact your performance mode settings. So this does matter. And then you can switch back. I don't know why it works like that, but yeah, go in there and video reflex, have this turned on. And if there's an option, have it on on plus boost, but this only goes for people with Nvidia GPUs. Number five would be disable any replay mode options in your game. So Fortnite has Fortnite replay mode, disable that you don't need that. It consumes CPU and disk resources, which is going to increase latency. I believe this is in the game settings tab. The next thing you want to do is make sure you have the proper sensitivity. It's not just about like hardware delay, you know, like or system delay. If you have a high mouse sensitivity or a too low slow mouse sensitivity, it's going to affect your movements and tracking, which is going to input a like natural human delay. And with that, you want to also make sure you have the most optimal keybinds. So the best building keybinds for Fortnite, at least to have faster builds. So a lot of pros will be using like QENF as like build binds or maybe like TFC, like those kind of binds that are like really local to your WASD movement. But of course, if you can and you have a good gaming mouse or a gaming mouse just or a mouse in general that just has side buttons, try and use them. My mouse has two of them and I use both of them for building. Now going on to some more network optimization things. So we're off Windows. We've done our in-game setting stuff. Now looking at wired Ethernet. If you don't have Ethernet yet, stop complaining. I say this every video. Any video I make around this, you need Ethernet. I'm going to drill it in and until no one comments again. And then I reply and they tell me they have wired internet. Do not complain about your ping. If you have wireless internet, you need an Ethernet cable. Must have. If you can't, just put your router closer to your PC. But honestly, yeah, wireless Wi-Fi, avoid it at all costs. It's going to increase packet loss and give you crazy ping spikes. Next thing, optimize your network settings. But, you know, don't even bother doing this if you don't have an Ethernet. You want to type up internet um, adapter options on your Windows. Go to property, disable any unnecessary protocols except internet protocol version 4. So basically everything besides internet protocol version 4. This may also be called TCP or IPv4. And that is pretty much it for network optimizations. You can optionally use a quote unquote gaming VPN, not your traditional like Nord VPN, but maybe something like no ping or exit lag. I'm not sponsored by either of them, but I can definitely vouch that they are legit and they work, particularly exit lag because I, you know, most pros are actually using that. These efficiently reroute your ISP traffic and get rid of any unnecessary traffic and connects you to the closest sub server. So you're not connected to, I don't know, whatever your, I don't know. Your, your random sub server in your local area or your general region, which may be giving you high ping. It just gives you the better ping. Uh, it is, won't work for some of you, work for some of you. It's optional. Don't have to do it. Now, some random additional tips that I thought of very last minute. Keep Fortnite installed on an SSD. If you don't have an SSD yet, it's an amazing upgrade to make for lower input lag. It does way more than you can think. One of the best things you can do actually hardware wise, but assuming you do, make sure your Fortnite is installed on the SSD. Obviously you'll have Windows on your SSD, then have any games and and then anything else put onto another drive. So if you just get an external drive, maybe you still kept your, you know, hard drive in most cases, all those background applications, Discord, your browser, whatever it may be, have them on the hard drive and have everything gaming related, anything you need focused, prioritized on the SSD. And I thought I had more tips, but that actually is pretty much everything. Quick checklist of the most important things, just to recap and conclude the video. Number one, enable a performance mode power plan in your window settings, not your phone settings, this is your window settings. So I recommend and all performance. Number two, performance mode in-game. So this is for Fortnite, because I know the Fortnite has it. I don't know about other games. But yeah, set that to performance mode. Number three, use full screen ideally and lock your FPS or cap your FPS to your monitor's refresh rate. Number four, disable any, you know, replays, any recording softwares, highlights, Xbox Game Bar, Shadow Play, whatever it may be. Number five, NVIDIA Reflex or Radeon Anti-Leg. Make sure they are turned on or low latency mode in your NVIDIA control panel. Sort that out. Get it set up. And number six, Ethernet. If you want stable ping, get on that Ethernet.